Hello, good morning viewers. In our previous lesson, you have seen how to find the n term of binomial expansions using the general formula. But into this tutorial, we are going to look on to how to find their respective coefficient using the same general formula. Okay, we have three problems in this tutorial. The first one, we want to find the coefficient of a b to the third power in the expansion of a plus b to the fourth power. All right, so let's get started. You know the general formula is n combination r, a raised to the power of n minus r, then b raised to the power of r. This is to show you that the power of b is always equivalent to r. So uh, you can see the power of b here is 3, therefore r is equal to 3 in that term. So problem number one, we want to find the coefficient of a, b to the third power in the expansion of a plus b to the fourth power. So you can clearly see that r is equal to 3 in this term. So we have n, which is 4, combination 3. Then a, this time around we are going to use only their coefficient because we are looking for the coefficients. The coefficient of a is 1 raised to the power of n minus r, that is 4 minus 3, which is 1. Then the coefficient of b is also 1 raised to the power of 3. Always you should remember that the sum of the powers will always be equal to n, which is 4 here. Observe that the whole of these two will give us 1. So all we have is 4 combination 3. So this is 4 combination 3, which is 4 factorial, divided by 4 minus 3, also factorial, then times 3 factorial. This is equal to 4 factorial, divided by 1 factorial times 3 factorial. You remember, 1 factorial is 1. So this can be reduced to 4 times 3 factorial, divided by just 3 factorial 3 factorial cancel 3 factorial all we have is 4 therefore the coefficient of a b to the third power is nothing but 4 so we have 4 here as our coefficient so let's take question number two we want to find the coefficient of y to the third power in the expansion of 2y minus 3 to the fifth power so to find this coefficient, first of all, let us determine our r. You can clearly see that n is equal to 5. But what about r? I told you r is always equivalent to the power of b. But y here is a, not b. So if y, which is a, has a power of 3, definitely b will have a power of 2. Because I told you some of the two powers will always be equal to n. Therefore, r will be equal to 2, or you can say 5 minus 3 is all the same. So we have n combination r, which is 5 combination 2. Then the coefficient of a, which is 2y, is 2, raised to the power of n minus 2, that is 5 minus 2 is 3. You can also clearly see it here as 3. Then b which is the coefficient of b is just the constant 3 negative raised to the power of r, which is 2. So this is what we need to simplify to get the coefficient of y to the third power. n combination 2 is, that is 5 factorial, divided by 5 minus 2, also factorial, then multiply by 2 factorial, Multiply by 2 to the third power is 8. Multiply by 8. Multiply by negative 3 to the second power is 9. So this is equal to, you can see that 5 minus 2 is 3. So I can write to the top as 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3 factorial. Divide by 5 minus 2 is 3 factorial. Multiply by 2 factorial is equal to 2. So from here you can see that 3 factorial will cancel 3 factorial. 2 can go into 4 
2 times we have multiplied by 8 multiplied by 9 so all we have is 5 times 2 times 8 times 9 5 times 2 is 10 10 times 8 is 80 and 80 times 9 is 720 so this is equal to 720 and 720 is the coefficient of y to the third power so we have 720 then the last problem we want to find the coefficient of x squared y to the fourth power in the expansion of 3x plus 2y to the sixth power um, the second term here contain y therefore it is said to be our b and the power of b is our r so you can see the power of b here is 4 so r is equal to 4 n is 6 and r is equal to 4 so we have n combination r a raised to the power of n minus r b raised to the power of r as 6 combination 4 multiplied by the coefficient of a which is 3 raised to the power of 6 minus 4 is 2 but you can also clearly see it here then the coefficient of the second term which is 2 raised to the power of 4 okay this is what we need to simplify to get the coefficient so we have 6 factorial divide by 6 minus 4 factorial then 4 factorial multiply by 3 squared is 9 multiply by 2 to the fourth power is 16 um, from the bottom you have 6 minus 4 equal to 2 so I can reduce this to 6 5 4 factorial divide by 6 minus 4 is 2 factorial and 2 factorial is 2 multiply by 4 factorial times 9 times 16 so let's perform a cancellation here this cancel this 2 can go into 2 1 time and it can go into 6 3 times so what we have is just 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 16 3 times 5 is 15 then 15 times 9 is 135 times 16 is 2160 this is 2160 as the coefficient of x squared y to the fourth 2160 so this is how to find coefficient of binomial terms and this is all i have for you today thank you for watching do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more exciting videos bye bye